Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Well, this video is just, I'm very excited about this video because this is what kind of robotics is all about. What we did is we are working on the Gyro Boy and we have a problem that arises at least three or four times a year. When students build the Gyro Boy, um, I can all demonstrate it with this uh, robot right here. What we uh, sometimes run into is the gyro sensor, which is right there, um, should actually be facing uh, me right now, which means we should be able to see those curved arrows. And what happened is this group actually put it on the other way. So you can see how the arrows are there. So what that does in the program is, and I'll try to run it for you right now, it actually just prevents the gyro boy from working. Um, we plugged in everything correctly and we tested everything. So sorry about that, buddy. And it just won't balance because that gyro sensor is uh, not placed correctly. So we thought, okay, there's a problem. And especially if you're going to try to get in there and reverse that, I mean, that's that's crazy stuff. How much repair that would take, how long that would take if we could even put that thing back. And then I looked at the program and I tried to figure out, hey, is there a way we could reverse that? And maybe some of you might be able to, maybe in the comments section, uh, let me know what I might be able to do with the program. But we wanted to just be able to get it to balance. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I thought is, um, and this is where myself and this team right here, we kind of problem solved and went, okay, if we, if we just need to get the gyro sensor facing the proper way, why can't we just do an external gyro sensor? Which means this team never took the other old gyro sensor off. <clears throat> we just placed a new one facing the proper way. And we thought, <clears throat> could that possibly work? So right now, that's the way the gyro sensor is supposed to be facing, facing us. And we thought, you know what? Could that possibly prevent us from having to take the whole thing apart? So what we did is we just bypassed this old gyro, set up the new one, and plugged it into where it should go. So the epic problem solving, I believe from yesterday, actually got this to work because this... This gyro boy actually did with that one. Did that, what that one did. It just kept falling and it couldn't balance. So we we had an epic celebration yesterday. Like we figured it out. We felt like if you guys have ever seen Apollo 13, we felt like we had saved the world and figured out this monumental problem. So it was just a great day yesterday because we had an aha moment. We tried it and it actually worked. So if you, uh, <clears throat> robotic teachers, students, if you ever run into the gyro boy where the problem is we have the gyro sensor facing the wrong way, we problem solve this for you. We just set up a different gyro with it facing the proper way and voila, this gyro boy can now balance and do everything he was supposed to. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys, um, share our wonderful epic moment of figuring something out and it was it was just great so i will leave you with that um this guy works now so we feel like we feel pretty successful all right guys i am mr hino from mr hino's lego robotics i am out